Welcome to our next issue of Luft's video online training. Our topic today will be the Opus 20 together with SmartGraph 3. The first part will be the hardware configuration of the Opus 20. So we will open the box and we will have a test certificate of the Opus 20. We will have the Opus 20 itself. We will have four batteries for the power supply. We will have the Smart Graph free on CD. We will have the connection cable. And we will have the mount adapt mounting adapter for the wall. So now we start with the configuration of the Opus 20 itself. Therefore we will open the battery part here on the Opus 20. We insert the batteries the right way of course. Now the Opus will start in the configuration, in the first configuration, in the standard configuration. We have a button here on the back side. With this button we can scroll through different menus and configure the Opus. The first mode is on-off of the Opus itself. Second mode is stop mode. We can stop the measurement with this mode. M3 is record mode, so we can start the measurement with this mode. Mode 4 is to hide the values on the display. M5 is to switch on or off the network adapter. M25 is configuration reset. M53 is beep on or off. And then we will start again with M1. To scroll through the menus, we will push the button fast. If you want to use the configuration for this menu, for example, menu 3, record mode, we strike the button long. And then it will be set to record mode. So now we finish the hardware configuration of the Opus 20 itself. And now we will start the configuration via Smart Graph 3. We will insert the CD, the Smart Graph 3 CD, in the PC. After that, the autorun.exe will start. Then a menu will open with the software button, then you can decide which language you want to install and then click on the button. Then you go to Software Smart Graph 3 and start it. Now you will be asked if you want to store it on the PC. Do that. Store it on the PC. It's a zip file, so unzip the file with the button unzip. After that you can start the installation of the Smart Graph 3 itself. The installation will be prepared. Then you go to the next button to start the the setup, then you will be asked for the folder, go to next, and then the installation will start again. Now you will get the message that, that the installation was successful, and that's it. After starting the Smart Graph 3, you will have the possibility to switch the language. 
You go to Einstellungen, Sprache, and then you can choose between German and English. Choose the right language, click on OK, and the language will be switched. Now you will see the language is in English, so you have the settings and all the configuration in English. So now we can go to settings again. Settings, choose program, and there we will have all the different configuration possibilities for the program. We can change the settings for the view, the diagrams per page, the maximum of y axis per diagram, maximum curves per diagram, show, er, show arrow values in the table and also show gaps in diagram after for example two missing values but you can choose that. You can choose between different values here. After you have done the configuration this uh, window you can go to folders for example. There you have the paths for application data and the user data. You can change these paths and you have also the possibility on software update to check for automatic updates. Then we have the button colors and there you can change the colors for the different values. For example, temperature is red here and so on. So you can choose them and edit them. You can also choose the diagram for the background color. Standard is, I think, light and you can go to dark if you want. So you can choose between light and dark here. After that you can click on OK and the configuration will be done. So the next thing on settings is to choose the ports. Settings, select serial port. So if you connect the Opus 20 via, via serial port, you can choose the right port in this menu and then you click on OK and that's it. So, next step is to go to devices, device button, manage devices and there you will have the possibility to configure the Opus 20. You have the possibility to read device configuration with the button, with the small button, sync device clock, clear memory, reset device, delete device and firmware update for the device. On the left side you have the list with all installed data loggers, your um, Opus 20 data loggers in your net. In this case we have three of them. And so if you activate the Opus 20 on the list, you will see all the informations on the right side of this Opus 20. You have an information button, you have auto poll button where you can start the auto poll or for this device. You have the poll interval, you can change this of course and you have a start stop date. You have the storage settings, so you can activate the store, storage of the data. You can change the sample interval and the store interval. You can also activate the clock, synchronization of the clock. Then you have the network settings. Um, you can change these network settings too. So, you have also the store value types button here to, to select active channels. If you click on that, you will see all the channels which are available to store with the Opus 20. You have the possibility to store maximum 20 channels. And with this or within this menu you will have the possibility to choose the values you want to store. Again, 20 channels maximum. That's it for the device, manage device settings here. So if you want to pull the devices, you go on to devices. and say and go to Paul devices menu then you will get the list with all the installed devices then you can choose which device should be read out then you click on OK and after that the device will be read out from SmartGraph 3 you get the message about the status of course in the in the window and that's it if you want to add a new Opus 20 in your system, you go to Devices. There is a button called Add Network Devices, so that's of course for networks uh, Opus 20. Search Network. And then the Smart Graph will search the network for new Opus 20 uh, modules. 
After that you go to OK and that's it. If you want to change the timetable or the time view of your diagram, you have different possibilities. There is a, uh, a section time intervals. You can change between day, hour, week, month, year of course. And you can also select your own time in the wall which you want to see. Going to the button, you can change the time zone and the timestamp like you want. From and of course to. And then you click on OK. Also can change the time of course. And then you go to OK and you will see the data which you want to have. So now looking on the diagrams you have different possibilities. If you want to zoom in the diagram there is a zoom in button. You strike the button here and then you can zoom in the diagram of course. And you can also zoom out with the zoom out button here on the right side. Then you can also go back in time in small steps backwards here large step backwards earliest data so it will switch back to the earliest data here then you can go small step forward large step forward and latest data then you can also select the time interval which you want to see. If you click on that, again you will be able to change the date and the time here. And then you go to OK and the data will be displayed in the diagram. Then there is a button show all data and after using this button all the data will be showed in the diagram here. If you want to change something in the diagram, you go to the data logger and you click on diagram or add diagram for example. So with this button you can add diagrams. And then again you have a new diagram here. You have to click on the diagram and then there is a possibility to change the settings of the diagram and now you are in the menu of the diagram itself. You can change the name here. You can assign the sensor channels which will be shown in the diagram. On the left side you will have the, the, the channels which are available and then you click it in the right list and all these channels will be shown in this diagram now. Then you click on OK and then OK again and now you have these values in diagram 2 for example here. Of course you will also have the possibility to remove a diagram. Again you go to the data logger, to the different diagrams here, right mouse click. Then you will see the, the, the window and there is remove diagram. And with this button you can remove the complete diagram here. So of course we have also the export function in the Smart Graph 3. You go to the file, export here. Then the export menu will open. You have the export start date, you have the export end date. You can change this of course. And then you go to next. There you can also choose which data you want to export from which sensor, from which Opus 20 in this case. Then you go to next, export data. You have the, you can change the date format, time format, have everything which is needed to, in the export file. You can also write a special header with different configuration and you have the file name. And after that you can strike on the button write file and that's it. And the export file will be written in the folder you have configured.
also a print possibility is given in the smart graph read you go to file again there is a print button after that the print view will be generated here and then the window will open and you will see the print and you can change of course the printer you can uh, change if you, if you want to have a portrait or landscape view you can change the margins here you can change the document title here of the print you can also include tables or not you can also print all or not so these are the possibilities here so of course if you want to print all you can change or say which page you want to print if you want to include a table again or not here this button is the print button and if you strike the button the page will be printed you can also zoom in and zoom out in the in the view here fit the width fit the height of the buttons here you can also change to one page or to two pages. After that you go to the print button and everything will be printed like you want it. So if you want to do a software update manually that means from the, of the software smart graph and of the firmware you will have the possibility to do that. Go to the question mark sign firmware update or software update and then you strike this button and the software will check if there is an update available or not and you will get this information. After you strike the software update button the software will be done automatically. So you go back to the um, to the setup of course of the smart graph here in this case because we have a new smart graph version here and then you go next next and this install the smart graph the new version on your PC. That's a normal setup here To that you get information that the installation was successfully and now the new smart graph is installed on your PC. So that's all for today. Thank you very much for your interest. I hope you enjoyed our video uh, training for the Opus 20. See you next time.